Welcome or welcome back to Solo Marvel Champion. Today I'm running Next Evolution again, this time with a core hero, Black Panther. This is my Black Panther Inspires Gamora deck. It's going to spam Inspiring Presence on Gamora, so she can keep attacking and digging through the deck. I've done some of the setup already shuffled Malice into the deck and that will be in there. That is a little out of setup order, but I'm just trying to save a little bit of time. Vertigo with nine HP will be our first villain. Give me a shuffle. Let's give the deck a shuffle as well. Now in my opening hand, I want either Maria Hill or Ant-Man because of their two thwarts. And I'm not going to pass up on Golden City or Panther Claws. Let's keep those. We're going to mulligan the rest. I still want to find Maria Hill or Ant-Man. And I'd really like to get rid of Ancestral Knowledge as well. I didn't, and I hate getting a Digging Deep. Let's use his ability. We'll go find energy daggers. Let's start with a double for Golden City. Hopefully we can draw Maria. Downtime, which is a card I don't normally play, and there's Maria. Let's use one and digging deep for Maria. She's going to draw me a card. It's another Wakanda Forever, which isn't really ideal right now. I'm going to use, and I hate to do it, downtime and a Wakanda Forever for Panther Claws. Let's flip up. Maria and I will both thwart for two. Go ahead and pop this for Gamora. Wow, all the way at the top. She comes into play, and I had hoped to get Ancestral Knowledge out of the deck. Right now there are three different events she can hit. Ancestral Knowledge, Inspiring Presence, and Wakanda Forever. Let's attack for two. And discard. White Fox comes into play. Digging Deep comes to hand. Wakanda Forever. And... I almost, I almost want to, again, I'm going to use a Wakanda Forever to play one of my upgrades, and she is going to attack for one. Holding on to that one, let's ready. I don't pay, I actually might even use those two to pay for Quinn Carrier, because the only ones I really need are Energy Daggers and Panther Claws. So one goes on the main, plus a Nox Counter. She's going to attack for two, and I'm gonna take it because I have Retaliate. That's two, three, four. She is going to take one Retaliate. She attacks again, and she's going to take it again. Two, three. She does take one more Retaliate. And now, we're in a pretty good position. I'm going to go ahead and pay two, three for Quinn Carrier. I'm going to have Gamora attack for two.
Yeah, ancestral knowledge is not the one I want there. That's totally fine. I am going to use ancestral knowledge for Wakanda Forever. That is going to deal one. Actually, let's hold off on that. Because she's sitting at two. Let's attack for two to knock her out. Next is Grey Crow. Grey Crow has nine, and that'll be nice because I don't like seeing him in the next scenario. He's going to make an immediate attack at four plus a boost. Um. Yeah, let's use her because I can activate her two more, or at least one more time. Um. Four, five, six, seven. Maria is gone. Now. I'm going to use Quinn Carrier for Wakanda Forever. That's going to deal one, two, three, four, five. And she is going to hit for one more. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to go down here. I don't think I do. I do have a blocker. Let's not go down. I also... I'm going to get rid of... I'm gonna get rid of both of those. It's ready. Call for backup is perfect timing for that. One goes on the main and a knock counter. He attacks for four and a white fox will block. Four or five, she's gone. I get one bad card. Catch the enemy with the fewest remaining hit points. Attached enemy cannot take more than two damage from a single attack. Choose to either spend re three resources of any type or remove, confuse, or stunned to discard this. Three of any type. I think I could probably do that, but let's... Let's do this. Put in... Call for backup. And... I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to thwart that off, because so I think I'll end up going down and readying, or recovering and drawing two cards, so let's just let Gamora attack for two. She's going to be gone, but I do get to trigger her response. I get an inspiring presence. I think I do though. Go ahead. Go ahead and fork two. And flip down. Then I'm gonna draw two. I've got all my I've got all of my inspiring presences in my hand. And a Wakanda Forever. And let's get rid of that because I'm getting ready to shuffle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's keep that. I don't have to draw any cards. It's ready. One goes on the main and then the third knock counter. These two come in with tough. And hide gets shuffled in. It's funny, I put these tufts in like this so it would be quicker putting them into play. And then I wasted a lot of time messing with them because they slipped down. Now he is going to scheme. One, two, three. Now let's hope. Okay. Ah, that one's not terrible. It has four. Let's, yep, do it. Let's draw two. Wakanda Forever and Professor X. We'll get an extra card and shuffle. Put 
looked like I had a, an encounter card in there. I'm trying to decide at this point if I even need to recover. Because I should be able to run the board at this point. I'm not going to recover. I'm going to flip up. I'm going to attack for two, which pushes him out. Chimera, who has 11, is going to make an immediate attack, and I'm not going to defend, because it's going to go on that tough. That's one, two, three, four. Would gain overkill, but it's going to hit his tough. Now, we will use that one that just had its tough knocked off. Clear call for backup. Search the deck for Gamora. I did have one in there. I thought I did. Now this says I can't take, or Chimera can't take more than two from a single attack. Gamora going to attack for two. I'm going to discard till we get an event. I'm going to use Ancestral Knowledge to play an Inspiring Presence. It's going to heal one and ready Gamora. She's going to attack for two. On the forever. Should be noted too that uh, I should have an encounter card. I'm going to use build support to play another copy of Inspiring Presence. It's going to heal her for one and ready her. It's attack for two. Look on to forever. Choose Professor X to play that last copy of Inspiring Presence. It's going to heal her for one and ready her. It's attack for two. Digging Deep comes to hand. White Fox comes into play. Might be it. Digging Deep comes to hand. Kind of forever. Now, even though I can't even play them all, I have all five of my Wakanda Forevers in hand. White Fox will attack for one. And Digging Deep. I oh, don't even have to use that Digging Deep. Quinn Carrier for Wakanda Forever. Deal one. Deal four. He can only take two. And that's enough to knock him out. So that's basically how this deck works. Just abusing Inspiring Presence with Gamora. Because if she finds it, I just play it again to ready her, heal her, go again. So let me know in the comments what you think. I do, like I say, have this linked in the description and pinned in the comments. Like, sub, comment, all those things that YouTube likes. And I would appreciate it as well. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a marvelous day.